Hey guys and welcome to Train Sim TV. In this video we're starting off new range of scenarios. We are actually going back in time to where it all started for me in terms of the train simulation game and it is the Microsoft Train Simulator. Now I developed for Train Simulator 2021 as it's now known today. I've been doing that for about 10 years. I mean I've been doing freeware stuff for a good number of years before moving on to the commercial side with just trains. With Microsoft Train Simulator I used to play it. I never actually did any creation for it though. I never really managed to get into that side of things. I just enjoyed having a drive around and just enjoying enjoying driving trains on a PC, which was amazing at the time. And I think when it first started for me, I was I was at high school, sort of starting at high school. I think I was probably about year seven or so. I mean, I'm thirty coming up near near now as well, so that was quite some time ago. Um, so obviously, Microsoft Train Simulator came out in two thousand. It was 2000, weren't it? So I, I remember this coming out, and I was absolutely mind blown because I was out. I, I was so over the moon that my really, really clapped out PC could actually play it, and it ran it really, really well. And it was, it was, it was sort of a, it was a start of a trend for many, many happy years of driving all sorts of trains and trams as well uh, on a PC simulation. So. We're starting off with a short one for this. Um, it's just testing the water, really. I'm not going to go into a full in-depth hour-long video. Those will come, but I'm hoping that uh, these take off and that you guys enjoy them. So we're starting off with the Crouch Tramway Museum. Now, this um, came for me with an add-on from UK Train Simulator, which was the Metrolink. We will do the Metrolink as well on another video. Um, now, this came as a little bonus extra um, it's only a mile, I said a mile or so I think is the crash tramways and it comes with a bunch of scenarios, about seven or eight scenarios with the uh, with the pack. Not sure if there's any else uh, available on UK Train Sim, not actually looked, I mean UK Train Sim at the minute is not working properly either so I'm not able to actually uh, get the paid subscription to start downloading stuff um, yet, but I will keep my eye on that, hopefully it'll, it'll change. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at Crouch itself at the uh, the bottom end. We're going to go to Glory Mine, and then we'll uh, we'll do the second scenario, which is on the same tram again, which is an I think it's Edinburgh Glasgow tram, uh, Glasgow tram. It's got Glasgow Station there, so it's Glasgow one o two one. This is. So we're going to go there, and then we'll swap into the scenario and come back. So, let's get ourselves into the tram and get ourselves prepped, and uh, we'll see what we've got to do. Right, so it's. Right, yeah, so it's all changed this has as well. Obviously, Microsoft Train Simulator is mega old and it doesn't work very well on the, the newer systems. But I'm just going to pause that a minute. You guys are going to know this anyway because you'll have probably seen this if you're watching this. Um, I, I mean, for me, it's quite new to me. <laughs> it's quite mad. It's quite new. Um, it now runs on a, a program called Open Rails. Now it's a little bit. Uh, it sort of enhances the game as well. It makes it look nicer and it, it, it runs really, really well. Um, I, it runs a lot better than I remember as well. But some of the, the setups are a bit different in terms of like the camera stuff. It's not the same as it was on the old original game. So. If my camera set up and that when I do flybys is a little bit iffy, do excuse I'm still getting used to it. So let's unpause. We'll get ourselves set up and we're gonna have a drive. So pantograph needs to go up. Which it is. That's lower, that's up. So press P for that, right? So that's on. So we've got some trams coming towards us. We're gonna take the brakes off. A bit of ding at the bell, get ourselves going. Before we start rolling back there, so brakes on, and hopefully we should start moving. Oh, there we go. There we go. As the TARDIS as well on the right hand side of us, as you do. So it's uh, ten over here. It's quite a tight set of points as well, so I'm not going to race over these. Now, for me to be able to do this as well is really, really cool because I, I massively love trams. Um, I was a driver at Blackpool um, on the LRT system for the Flexi trams uh, for six years. I now drive the Heritage trams as a volunteer as well, so it's great to come and have a little try, try uh, of trams on the sim. And speaking of Blackpool trams, we've got the Blackpool tow track coming on the right side there.
Now we need to stop a car park northbound, which I think is here. I'm just going to stop here a second because I don't actually know why I'm stopping. Um, trying to figure this out. So if we're going to eight cam, there's a Sheffield tram just coming there as well. The cameras are all back to front. I'm trying to figure out. For some reason, you press forward, it doesn't go. It goes up, so it really throws me out. I don't even know where the car park is. I've never been to Crouch. <laughs> Says the man loves his trams. One of the places I do want to get to. Hopefully, maybe uh, later in the year, or if not early next year. All being well with COVID and all that. Um, as I do understand, they are running. Um, there's some Blackpool trams about here as well. We've got a uh, balloon there as well. We've got uh, the engineer's car there as well. I think that's, is that 143? No, it's not. It's number three. Which is really cool. I'm just going to pause that. Let's have a little look around. I remember playing this as well a long time ago, and I never really went into depth for having a look around what's what. So, let's come and look at these now. I mean, seeing pictures of stuff like this um, is really, really cool. Um, it's well represented. Uh, well represented. 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 <laughs> Good God. Making a right hash of this. Um, it's very well done in, uh, in such an old game as well. I mean, that looks absolutely spot on. Um, I've, I've seen pictures of these these engineered cars. They used to be one obviously in Blackpool. Um, not there now. It's now um, a more modern yellow thing. What they have in Blackpool. Um, I think that came sort of the eighties, which took over from the old standard cars. But that's really cool. We've also got some other Blackpool trains. We've got another standard in here. We've got standard forty nine. Showing Cleveland's on the uh, destination there. Cleaver as well is actually where I used to live. I, I, I was brought up and I grew up around in, in Cleaver, so it's nice to see my uh, my sort of like town in the game as well. Again, another lovely car there, and I remember seeing pictures of uh, this advert on a tram. There you go, got Traverse there as well. Um, we've got the Dreadnought there, Dreadnought is number 59. Uh, I believe this is actually in, in storage at Clay Cross at the moment. Not run for a number of years, sadly. We've been asked to see it up and running. Maybe come to Blackpool as well at some point. Um, we've actually got some, I think, a Birkenhead tram. I think that's a Bir yeah, is it? I think that actually uh, is a Birkenhead tram. I don't know what this one is though. That's a London Transport tram, uh, number three five four. Uh, we've got um, Standard Thirty One. This actually operated in Blackpool a couple of years ago. It, it came back to Blackpool for a while and uh, it operated for about a year, I think it was as well. So it's not, I, I rode on this tram as well um, a couple of times while it was over as well. Really lovely tram. And uh, again, there we've got the Bloom. So Bloom 700. Uh, Bloom 700 is quite an interesting one because um, it doesn't look like this anymore. It's got the double um, box destination blinds on the front there, but this is now one of the modified Bloom fleet. And 700 was uh, one of the trams that I did my driver training on for the Heritage uh, last year. I actually drove 700 about three weeks ago for my driver refreshment course after the COVID um, shut down of the tramway. So to see 700 in game, brilliant. I mean, I've, I've driven 700 in real life, along with another few different um, balloon cars in the fleet. Anyway, let's get back to our tram and uh, progress a bit further up towards um, Glory Mine. We've got a Blackpool Pantograph car coming up here as well. I think that's number 167, is it? Or 187? 187. They just disappeared into a portal and lots of it as well. <laughs> Shows I'm a little bit late. But we are getting a bit of... Uh, get to know the game again here. So we'll, uh, we'll start moving. Quite an interesting section of track here as well. We have um, the lines sort of cross and merge over and run over the top of each other. Um, really interesting. There's a bit of track like this on Sheffield Tram where it sort of like comes off a set of points and then crosses over and runs over each other for a bit and then merges off. Happened in many places, though I would have uh, thought over in different tramways.
I missed my stops apparently. Car Park North is coming up. This is Car Park North. There we go, we made a stop. I'm on time actually as well. Now, I'm not going to do a screenshot in the game because I don't actually have an easy way of doing the screenshots. Um, I will have to come back and do a, some form of screen grab. Alright, roger that. Hellfire. <laughs> Next stop is Wakebridge, northbound. Um, yeah, I'll have to do some screenshots after the video because I don't think there's a way. I can't. There's no way of taking screenshots as far as I'm aware in the game. So I have to do some sort of like snapshot in in terms of doing print screen and stuff. I'll have a play about with that before we get the stuff up on the uh, channel. The floating foliage there, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rip a game that's so old. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a privilege to have a have a play on such an old sim, and I'm still able to play it. I have um, I purchased quite recently a bulk load of add-ons, so we're gonna sort of hopefully go through a few of them um, over time. Some I actually I haven't ever played as well, so it's nice to actually get some stuff that I'd never be able to acquire um, back in the day. Um, like I say, I've got a load of UK trains and stuff. I mean, I've got all the stuff at hand. I've got all my discs on the desk. Everything's all piled up at the minute. Um, stuff from UK trains. I've got Blackpool Tramway. That's going to be one of the ones we'll do. Um, I mean, being a Blackpool Tramway driver, I will scrutinise it to hell, but I can't really scrutinise something that's so old, but I'll notice things because I'm obviously a real driver. I need to take it quite easy around here quite a tight curve and there is a stop coming up in about 35 yards there we go so yeah I've got Blackpool Tramway um, I've also got Thames Mersey at hand Northwest England Dorset Coast and the Metrolink, which is the pack that we're running on today, obviously with the um, the addition of the Christ Tramway. Um, I've got tons of discs Hold in. Tight, it. Will do. Hold in tight. Um, I've got loads of discs. Obviously, at the top of my desk, which I can't really get to at the minute, so I can't really um, read them all out. But a couple of uh, I can give you all the names are Scottish, um, Scottish region eighties, I think it was called. I'm sort of looking at the top of my desk now, I can't even see it. Glasgow to Edinburgh in the early 80s, it was a making tracks product. Um, I've also got uh, the Cross City, which is probably going to be one of the next ones I'm going to do because it looks really, really cool. That's one of the ones I've never played before properly. I had a little look when I installed it the other week, but I haven't played it prior to looking at it. A bit of power on. <laughs> There's another uh, standard car here. That is 40. So what we'll do is we'll get to the end of here. And then we'll phase over to the other return scenario.
You'll join me again in a moment in the other direction, guys. So you join me in the other direction facing back down towards Crouch Complex. We're going to get ourselves set up and await the all clear to proceed. Um, there's, a, there's a couple of services coming back down this way, so we'll have to wait for them to uh, arrive, of course, before we actually head off. So we'll get our trap monitor and uh, next station guide up. And put the panograph up as well. So we're on the same tram again, which is uh, 1021, which is the Glasgow tram. I believe, I think as well, this or one of the same type of class tram operating Blackpool for a short while during the centenary. Some of the trams that have operated in Blackpool over time and visiting, visiting vehicles. All tight, please. So we, we, we can proceed, but we can't go yet because there's the toast rack coming in first. And there's the Sheffield tram coming as well. I can't even do a pan in this game because it's just, it's just so... I don't know how it looks in the video, it could look really, really bad. The toast rack looks really, really cool. Class of tram I've actually never experienced travel on. Uh, there's no, none of these operating in Blackpool anymore. I do believe I think there's one at Heaton Park, I think. No, 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 I'm getting that wrong. I think that's the Vanguard. I think they've got that. This is still actually a um, crouch today, I believe. I'm, I'm talking some rubbish here. So we've got the Sheffield tram coming in as well. So this is obviously Sheffield's last tram. This all oh he's gone by them. He operated as well at Blackpool on the uh, same sort of time. I think it was around the centenary. There's quite a few visiting trams. Right, we'll see how we get on. I'm not gonna lie, this is like the third take of trying to do this. And find like find more and more trams coming towards me. I wasn't expecting him to disappear there though. Other things to look out for, we need to make sure we stop at all stops, and we also need to make sure we, um, when we get to the crossover set of track where it comes over in like sort of like dual runs, we need to reverse back slow to allow a tram ahead of us to start moving. That's the way tracing works, I think. Again, I'm, I'm learning again here, it's been a long time since I've played this game, especially under open rails. So just bear with us on this one, we'll get a bit more use of the sim again. The funny thing is, I did I did a bit of MSTS practicing um, last week, and I had to go and do my just train stream about an hour after. And because the controls are the opposite way around for the power handle, it proper threw me out. It, I, I I really struggled. <laughs> I really did. Let's put the uh, the handbrake on there. So we're gonna stop uh, in just seventy yards, which is somewhere where that little shelter is, just coming up on the left. Okay, that's not even at the stop. Let's try again. That is. So boarding will complete in about 16 seconds there. I'm just going to double check there's no trams coming before we go. Does it appear to be? There's a tram up there. But we should be good to go. Before we We'll go with it. Alright, so our next stop is going to be the car park southbound. Drop some speed there. Next stop is only 0.2 a mile. 
we need to make sure we're not going to fly over these points. Pantograph car is now on the move. And also the London Transport Trams come out to play. And so has the uh, the Birkenhead one, the uh, Liverpool tram. So we're going to be making our stop in a moment. Good practice is always the dinghy bell as you're going past the station tram. how we are taught in Blackpool. And there's no trams ahead of me, so I'm hoping that I might actually be alright. Now, I don't know what that one's doing. You did say, though, when I get around this area, I need to do a slight reversal. Do a small little reversal quickly, just see what happens. There's actually no trams ahead of me, so I don't actually know what that uh, briefing was telling me, to be fair. Right, anyway, onwards. So, next stop will be the Town End Depart southbound line. Again, I hope this, uh, the, the new sort of range of videos takes off quite well. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some of these as well. There's all sorts of stuff I'm looking forward to doing. But hopefully, uh, providing that you guys uh, enjoy them and watch them, that means we can do more of them. Um, again, it's one of them. If it, if it turns out to be a bit of a dead end um, range of videos, then it'll be something that could be quite short lived. But hopefully, that's not the case. Um, sort of test the water with them anyway. And now we are not too far away from our end of snow. I'm not sure if this is the end of it, or we're going to get to the end of the track up there. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video and a little bit of history as well. Some tram gen, some sort of like sort of like memories for myself as well, really, and a bit about myself and what I do. Don't forget you can like, share, subscribe, leave us a comment, leave some feedback. If there's anything that you would like us to try and cover in our STS. That'll be great. Don't forget to catch on Twitch. We might even do a bit of NFTS on Twitch at some point. Links in the description for our channel. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care and stay safe, guys.